and your first first advice is if you have a family in France that should be the only first excitement for you to come to France if not rethink about it watch this video and at the end you decide whether or not you want to come to France Quand les chats ne sont pas là, les souris dansent. Quand les chats ne sont pas là, les souris dansent. talking about my uh, little stay in France and you already know what happened I was supposed to get my visa it didn't work out and all of that and then I finally got it around uh, and around mid November and so I was finally able to come so I decided, decided to make this video to help anyone who is currently thinking about moving to France Moving to France is good if you have a family. Like for example, if I have moved to Germany, I'll be fine because I have ton of, tons of family in Germany and I love Germany. But I happen to be in France where I know no one and uh, it was, everything was new except the part that I speak the language, everything else was new. Um, so my first, first advice is if you have a family in France, that should be the only first excitement for you to come to France. If not, rethink about it. Watch this video and at the end you decide whether or not you want to come to France. So my uh, journey began when I was denied a visa because of complications and all that. And I finally got the visa and I made it. I was so excited. The first day I arrived was terrible. The first week when I arrived was terrible because I felt so, so, so sick. The only good thing is that in France, the healthcare system is so good that even if you don't have an, a health insurance yet, they will still take care of you and you pay later and it's still cheaper than the US. So that's number one good thing about France. Um, so I was very sick. I was having a terrible stomach pain, terrible, terrible. And that lasted for about two weeks, actually. I say one week, no, about two weeks. Um, I couldn't eat. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even go to work. It was terrible. But I... I overcome that i moved out from the place i was staying i got my own apartment over here where i'm living so yeah by the way i live in Rennes. uh it's uh on the north north west like all the way the other side of france if you know probably put the map so you see all the way to the end of uh france up there and uh Rennes, Rennes is beautiful Ren, uh coming from new york city it's a bit small but it's still a nice city they only have one metro line um uh, they only have one metro line everything is nice it's a city but still a bit quiet you can visit the whole city in just a day if you really just want to visit but if you want to visit deeply um probably two days three days you already know the whole city it's very small um then they have a lot of buses one metro line a lot of buses um the weather is beautiful this is the only first winter that i didn't experience uh snow even people over here are dying to see snow i was dying not to see snow so that was good uh, no snow um I, even right now i can go out in just you know a t-shirt with a skirt and all that um the weather is beautiful the food the food i really enjoy making my own food so i was that i was always cooking my own thing there's there are a lot of africans here so there's a lot of African um, supermarket. The only thing I don't like about African market over here is that they are called exotic. Like exotic. Why exotic? Like, you know, in the US, we call it African market. Or in Germany, they call it Afro shop. In France, they call it 
marché exotique. That word exot exotic is like, I don't know how I feel about that. I definitely know I don't feel good about it. But that's um, something else. Um, then there is the, the fact that French people are very slow. Very slow. It took me, I got here since November and I, I finally got my health insurance in January. January, not even January, February, because it's a whole process. So I, I got here working as a, a teaching assistant, so I'm working for the government. So I have access to the healthcare system and, uh, and all the benefits that comes to being French. Um, so, but the only issue with France healthcare system is that the government only covers 70% of uh, your medical bills and the 30 percent you have to call something that they call over here mutual um and that mutual is like a private health insurance but still work with the government it's a bit complicated but you get what i mean so the government only pays 70 percent and the 30 percent you have to get your own private insur insurance and that you can choose anyone you want they, uh, there's no difference it's just that some are cheap some are not but it's still cheap i pay about 30 every month the one i end up choosing uh, 30 every month and that covers a lot of things so yeah that side because i am i'm used to the u.s where i had the public i mean they probably have insurance where it covers 100 percent that can do anything it's very easy going but here it's complicated the health insurance is very complicated then i had to apply to um for help for support to uh, i mean for assistance for my housing because i wasn't making a lot of money so if I don't know if there are programs like that but i come from a program where union my university in the u.s work with the university here university de Rennes, uh, where they send students every year and then rent and send students also and i was sent here i was so excited that i was gonna make money you know i'm only paid every month that's the first thing the first shock um and every month i'm paid about a thousand five hundred but after them taking out the social security, all that retire, even though I am not going to retire over here. I end up uh, getting 1,200 every month and my housing is about 517 euro. So out of that, you can imagine I have like less than a thousand to survive on food, on uh, metro card, on health insurance, on, on personal things that I need. And all that and I end up with nothing to save so I decided to apply for assistance for them to help me pay my uh, housing and um, guess what they end up taking forever uh, until now I have not gotten any response even though I've been here for the past again four months uh, the last letter I received from them was last week talking about they will get back to me five weeks from then so yeah, you can imagine. Uh, French people are very slow. They are very slow. And so it's very frustrating because I, in the beginning, before, for a very long time, until now, I never liked France. I always told myself I would never, ever, ever, ever come to France. But um, you don't know what the future holds for you. I end up being here. And I, it's not because I never liked them, but it's just that the whole country is messed up that they make they end up making me hate the country like two times more than i hated it before coming here because i just, I, I tried like i gave it a chance i gave it a chance i wanted to to let myself go forget about the hatred i have toward the french government and france in general and all that and just experience and leave but still i'm leaving today and uh, i still hate france like deeply like two times more even three times more than before coming here because it's complicated that being said i still love rain rain is like my baby it's like again the weather is beautiful everything is quiet all i have to do is go to school come back and then relax here watch tv i never went out but still i love rain very quiet very simple very easy going um but france in general the administration the bureaucracy it's all all complicated ah another thing i forgot about health insurance <laughs> no not health insurance opening a bank account oh my god so when i was coming i asked one of the uh teaching assistants that was here from union last year and she told me to open 
uh, the account with uh, what they call here BNP Paribas because it's like a sister bank of Bank of America in the US. So I'm like, oh, okay, I have Bank of America, so I will just do this, it will be easy. No, they took about a month and a half and never got my account open, which delayed my, uh, pay, uh, my job, my monthly payment for my job. So I end up going to Credit Agricole, another bank here. Like the same day I got it, the same day they gave me everything, my account was open and I was able to get paid. So I would advise you if you are coming to France to stay, the first bank you should think if you need like, if you don't want to have a headache, go to Credit Agricole. Um, I have a colleague that went to Post, the Post also has a, their bank, I mean they can open a bank account for you, don't go to there, he was telling me that it's shitty and very hard to work with. So I would really, really advise you to go to Credit Agricole, they are very easy going, very nice, very helpful, very helpful and all that so should be your friend so to, su to sum up all of this is just to give you tips of if you're trying to move to france my advice is don't come if you don't have family if you're going to be alone don't come unless you really love france like how i really love germany but if you're you're looking for a new experience you don't you, you have no expectation you have no feeling toward france don't come don't come <laughs> like i'm sorry but it's not that I'm trying to bring France down or to say shitty things about them, but just from my personal experience, I'm talking from personal experience and I'm give, I'm advising you from my personal experience and all that I've gone through in this country, don't come. But personally, that doesn't mean you should take my advice, but personally, I would advise you not to come. Um, so, unless you have a family, if you have a family, again, come, enjoy with your family and you'll be fine. They will help you through, they have been here, they are more experienced um to sum up it's just to tell you that things are very slow over here so if you end up not taking my advice and coming to experience on your own keep a couple things in mind everything is very slow here the administration is very slow they take their time so if you try to get things done quickly do it early the earlier the better um if you're trying to open an account a bank account go to credit agricole very easy they're very good they, they're not paying me for this video so Please, um, but yeah, crypto agricole, health insurance, make sure that you get your things together before you go there, they will ask you for many, many, many papers. Come ready, like come with your birth certificate, um, your your ID, your passport, your, I don't know, your degree, all of that, come prepare. They will, they will, yeah. And what else? Yeah, just that the main thing, the main, main thing, the main takeaway from this is that French people, are very slow and they are very bureaucratic and they take their time to do every single thing which is so annoying if you're coming from the u.s where everything is like quick quick like you keep going especially if you come from new york city where like everybody's moving so yeah thank you so much for coming back to my channel so as you can see i did this hair on my own it looks terrible because i didn't have enough uh extension so i just had to compromise and do this but i still like it i can do anything Looking like a bit of rasta, things like that. And by the way, I have also been doing this uh, face mask for myself for the past couple of days because I am stuck home doing nothing. And uh, ignore this pimple. Me and pimple is something else. But so far, so good. My skin is looking popping. But yeah, okay. So thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I will try. Oh, yes, there's another thing. Someone suggested to me I should do more videos, like YouTube videos about cooking because I love to cook a lot. And since I'm going to go back home and have nothing to do, um, I will definitely do that. Hoping that New York doesn't go lockdown too, so that I don't get the ingredients. But I will definitely think about it and do that. And that might be my next video or not. Or following, following video. Who we'll see? So I'll be doing some cooking video um yeah thank you so much for coming back, back to my channel don't forget to like share subscribe and invite friends to watch my video and uh thank you au revoir